G'day guys, welcome to Scotch Down Under. I'm Ken. I'm Scott. And I'm the Cube Ball. And today, we've got Ardmore Legacy, peated and unpeated. Peated and unpeated because it is a blend of the two as such. Yes, but not a typical blend it's that has typical... different grains. No, it's no, a blend no, from the same distillery. Which so... makes it a single malt. A combination mm. of, is it 80% peated, 20% unpeated? Yeah. Yep. Chill filtered, we're assuming, doesn't say that it isn't. And it has got colouring because it says Mitfarbstoff, as they have to say in Germany. And a bit of the other bit that says it's got caramel in it. Well, I mean, it's safe to assume that unless it says non-chill filtered on the bottle, that it is chill filtered. Yes, unless it's 46%, then it might not be, because of the alcohol doesn't cloud up at 40%, 46 and above. So these guys were established in 1898, and they only had two stills back in those days. Well, you know, most people, when they start out, it's only a small production. Because, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to start a distillery and look at doing a massive production straight up, then... That's a big investment. Mm, still I was just going to say, you've got a lot of money or you're owned by Diageo. <laughs> True. <laughs> or both. Yeah. It was the teacher family, and since then, one of the uh, one of the major uses for their production is, of course, in the teacher's blend. Huh. So these guys... I only bought this out in 2014. Yes. So it was one of the first releases under the mantle of Suntory Beam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Beam bought them out in 2005 and then 2014 and become the conglomerate Suntory Beam. Yes. And they've got a whole pile of other releases. They've got the 20s and 30. They've got traditional. They've got a heavy peat. Oh. They do another expression as well that is peated. So, yeah, these guys are, um, they've been around for a while and they're doing quite a bit of stuff on the market. Mm. It's a quality looking product as well. Like the 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 map on the tube. Mm. So with all the topographical, topographical? Topographical? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm glad you took it to the attempt to say it. Oh, mate. Yeah, well, we'll look topographical. Topographical. Um, yeah, with all, all those little things on there, so you've actually got altitude lines and everything, and, and like it's obviously taken from an old map. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's definitely a topographical looking bottle <laughs> wrap. <laughs> and look, obviously the the uh, the copper eagles really stand out, uh, and they they've made the the building red. Yep, so and on really the top of the, the lid, it's the embossed. In they it. got the embossed eagle mm. in there as well. And they've carried it on onto the bottle labelling as well. So you've got the same kind of labelling of the topographicals with the, <laughs> the red and the... <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to live this down. No. <laughs> uh, and on the back, like we were saying before, big fat black writing, mit stuff with the rest of the writing to say that it has got colouring in it. So yeah, this is a Highland single malt. I don't know if we actually said that before, but yes, it's something no, we do. Oh, Highlands. Mm. And 40% ABV. Yep. So that means we should be able to get a really good nose off it. I yeah. think so. Theoretically? Yes. But yeah, overall, I really enjoy this label. It, it definitely is different. You don't see that much, I was going to say topographical, but that much artwork on a tube, typically. <laughs> it's topographical, man. <laughs> Is it? Are you sure? Yes. Do you think it's topographical or topographical? I think it's topographical. Yeah, I think it's topographical as well. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Get that little bit of peat. Heather. Yeah. And a really soft peat. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice... By the... It's like to me. It seems like it's a it's a good. It'll be a good flavored peat, it's, but it's not a heavy peat nose. It, it's peat like that, mm. blended into it. It's, mm. it's definitely not over the top. Mm. Yeah, and your normal Highland florally notes. Mm. What are you getting, Scotty? Um, there's something I can't put my finger down on what it is. 
Whiskey? <laughs> Had to be done. Uh, is it rum? No. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking cognac. <laughs> but it's a it's a nice earthy peat. It's not a super well, smoky peat. It's I was more thinking... like maybe the top layer of the peat, so you get more of that organics coming through. Yeah, the real yeah, more ashy. like the actual moss rather than the yeah, smoky yeah. peat. Not vegetable. Not vegetable. No. Well, this is, because this is the top layer, yeah, so it would be vegetable. I said vegetable. <laughs> no, Le- not vegetable. Leafy peat. <laughs> yeah. Leafy peat. Mm. Let's go with that. Yep. Leafy we peat. could start a trend. <laughs> we could, could put it on a shirt. Leafy Hashtag peat. leafy peat. <laughs> <laughs> but being 40%, you, you can get your nose in there, and it's not offensive. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a re- oh, the, the more you go back in, the, the more the peat is coming. Yeah. But there's still that underlying sort of floral honey... Yeah. It's really nice it's and pleasant soft. on the nose. Oh, yeah. On that nose. On that yeah. nose. Let's get Jeez. the mouth in there. Slightly thin on the arrival. Mm. Sweet, floral, burst of peat. Yeah. I concur. You concur? Yeah. So, mm. no? Mm. Yeah, mm. nailed it. Anyway, that was a good episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's your description of Hardball Magazine. Uh. Mm. And now the the long finish, it's a little bit of a tiny bit of oak. A little bit more of the botanicals of the florally stuff sitting there mixed in. There's still something on that nose I'm getting that I can't decipher. It's quite thin. Mmm. But you expect it's almost watery. Mmm. You expect a bit more it's oils in there, mm. being with the um Well Dave. That's, that's because you're a, a bloody lug of woolen junkie. No, no, just just, <laughs> just whisking around. Some are very thin and just warty and some are very... Peated whiskey, you do tend to expect that little bit of oiliness. Mm. Like the but, tongue um, and... Yeah, none of it. Not none only oilers, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. But yes, they do have a lot of oils. But, yeah, there's that lingering... The honey really softens mm. into more of a... nougat, almost. Yep. Mm. And you get a little bit of peppery finish. A little bit of pepper. Yeah, I'm getting a pepper. Like you, got, you get that at the end of the palate when you swallow it, you get that peat and that little bit of pepper. Yeah, and then it goes on. But that beautiful soft peat just lingers on the palate ever so nicely. Yeah. And we've all had this before. Yes. And it's always been a a really good rounded, good mixture of peat and a Highland typical single malt. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you all. Thank you, mate. Um, but yeah, very typical Highland peated malt. Mm. <clears throat> it's probably a little less water than I would normally put in there, but yeah, it wasn't got, a huge pour. You've got, got enough at left. I've got, I've got a little sip left <laughs> and a little bit for the taste. For me, the, the honey is softened on the nose, the sweetness is softened, and there's more of that nice floral leafy peat. I'm going to be honest, I forgot to have a smell after adding water. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you still have some left. It'll yes. still be in the glass. It brought the peat a little bit more forward for me mm. with a small amount of water. For the taste, at least. I was going to say on the nose that, yeah, that peat is... It's lifted a bit? It's lifted a little bit, but also it's brought out that sweetness and the florals as well. Mm. It's all come out a little bit mm. more on the top. That's a solid drain, though. Yeah. So on, on the palate, it's a lot more sweeter and non-peppery. And that peat is subdued, but it's still there. Yeah. It's like it's wrapped the, in honey. The pepper is on the finish, and it's more sort of off to the side of the tongue. At the back, yeah. Mm. At the back, yeah. Side in the back. Mm. And you still just... The olfactory is just that beautiful soft peat. Yep. And it's like... There's almost that element of um, a summer rain. That petrichor 
Yeah. It's like a smell almost. I reckon it's not honey. I think it's, it's something more like agave syrup because that's more earthy and and that that it, that goes in with that like yeah. leafy yeah. peat. With the water, I think it's a little bit rounded honey sweetness. Mm. It's more. It might be in like, like you're saying, agave nectar type. Mm. Yeah, feel. Yeah, it's like earthy stuff. but sweet. Yeah, it's a more of a more of a fruit sweet rather than a honey. Mm. Mm. A nectar. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. I can't even remember how much this is a bottle, but... 55? Yeah. I think, roughly. I think it's 55, not, 60. Not super pricey. I know, it wasn't. 55, 60, any. it's what I recall seeing it at. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, not offensive whatsoever. And it's quite readily available, even though, you know, most of this stuff goes into the teachers. You, you do find this around. And um, let's face it, it's a real easy drinking. Oh, that did... Yeah, you could sit on that for an entire night. Yeah, I enjoy it every time I have it. You know, it's been quite some time since I've had it. Mm. And I opened this just recently and it had been a long time since I had it. And I went, oh, now it's coming back. Mm -hmm. I remember this. This is actually really pleasant. All day drinker, like you're saying. Mm. You can sit on this all day. It's not a strong offensive peat, but you still get that peat experience. Plus you get the Highland yeah. experience. So it's a nice change up from a big bold peat. Mm. Yeah. Um, and because it is a beautiful soft peat, and there's that little bit of sweetness there, you know, you could... Well, you could start on it. It's, it's, a, like, it's a good rookie peat because it's yeah. not overly pricey. Yeah. yeah. And it's not big, bold and punchy. Yeah. It's well balanced and flavoursome and just brilliant. Yeah, totally. And I'm with you, like you're saying, you could start with this because if you wanted to go something a bit more light and flow, yeah, you, you could because... Or you can go the peat route. Like yeah, because this yeah. isn't yeah. really offensive <laughs> and strong like a Ardmore or, I mean, that... Uh, the or something. Bag or something yeah. like that that's really going to ruin your palate for anything lighter. Mm. Um, yeah. How much out of 10? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even eight. It's nice solid drinking. It's easy eight? to drink. That's yeah. a little low for you. Yeah, well, we always give nines for everything. <laughs> <laughs> we do, but we split it up nine oh, look, point something or other. <laughs> yeah, but... By the same token, you know, in a in a similar price point, there's there's other stuff that I feel delivers a bit better, a bit better, like the Grand Grant, Grant, the Grand Grant, Grand, 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 the the Arabolus. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Grant style, yeah. true. But that, that's um, if you wanted to go that kind of route, if you want something that is Highland slightly peaty, uh, I'd I'd actually say I, I'd go a high eight, so I'd probably go like a an eight point seven five, eight point seven five. And you're going just eight? Yeah, I'll do eight point five. I mean, it, I mean, it's like, like I, I love subtle peats uh, and things, but it's sort of like with a peat that that soft, it's sort of like I, I do kind of want a little more of what's coming through underneath. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's it's a solid little dram, and it'd be a great little. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong with it. That is a daily drinker. Yeah, definitely. That's what I like it for. If, you, if you're looking at your shelf, or even when you're going to the bottle shop and you're thinking, oh, I want something Speyside, Highland, or I do like a bit of peat, you get this, you got both in the bottle. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, as we've said quite a few times now, you can have this any time of day, all day, without having to think, okay, oh, I should save that for later because you know it's going to be quite strong. This you can have any time. So I would give it yeah. eight, nine, nine-ish, because it is, Nice and cheap, not offensive, mm. get both experiences, and I've never screwed my nose out of it before. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. agreeable. Totally. On that note. Yeah. Till next time. Have a Have good, a good one. one. Right then. Right then. Let's have a sniff. We'll put this out of the way over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that works, that works. <laughs> <laughs>